To win at the highest level at the Olympics, you have to be the fittest person in the world. Good, Jesse. And if you're not willing to really push yourself all the way to your limits, that's not going to be enough. The Olympics did change my life. It was about trying to do something that had never been done before. Up until 2018, the U.S. cross-country ski team had never stood at the top of an Olympic podium, but it wasn't for lack of trying. Up, 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 guys. Yep. Nice, dude. Good work. Yeah, Sim. Looks way faster than a week or two ago. These devoted men and women spend thousands of hours training together year-round including a two-week summer boot camp at the snow farm on New Zealand's South Island. Skiers are made in the spring and the summer. Having the opportunity to get on snow and work together here as a team is huge. It's midwinter conditions here, which is awesome. It really helps prepare us for the season. It's where the road to the World Cup begins for U.S. ski team member Jesse Diggins. imagine any job I'd want more than being a professional cross-country skier. I love racing and competing and being part of a team. Growing up in Minnesota, Jesse fell in love with cross-country skiing at a very young age. I grew up thinking it was the coolest sport ever. My parents would put me in their backpack and go on their ski dates every weekend. And then when I got older, I joined the high school team. That's when I realized how much I love training. Named to the U.S. ski team in 2011, Jesse has already won six World Cups and a World Championship. U.S. women's team head coach, Matt Whitcomb. She is an all-around skier. She can be on the podium at the top of it in distance, in sprint, in classic. She thrives on team. Our job as coaches is really to break these athletes down. If they tell us they're tired, that's when we start succeeding. For Jesse and her teammates, being physically ready is just the beginning. It's the mental side of this grueling sport that truly defines each competitor. A huge part of success in cross-country skiing, it's all in your head. One of my strengths is that I'm willing to push my body right to the edge of what I think I'm capable of, and then hang on and push it a little bit further. At Pyeongchang, Jessie teamed up with five-time Olympian Keegan Randall, also one of her childhood heroes, for the women's team sprint. I was going up against a girl who had just won the Olympic sprint title. And she's a better sprinter than me. She is. But I wasn't thinking about that. I was just thinking about what I could do in that moment. I was so focused, and it was like someone had turned the volume down, and I didn't hear the crowd, and it was like nothing else existed. After I crossed the line, I was like, did we just win the Olympics? <laughs> like, did that really just happen? It had been more than four decades since an American cross-country skier had won a medal of any color at the Olympics. To watch Jesse and Keegan come across the line with gold in the team sprint was a dream come true for all of us. We've had this goal of getting that monkey off our back for so long, and winning that race really iced the cake for us. You can't do it without coaches and wax techs and staff and teammates pushing you in training. Everyone on this team knows that they are a part of that medal and that it belongs to them too. Nice digs. The training is the part that I live for and the training is the part that makes me the happiest and that's what I get to do all the time. 
It's not one chance every four years. It's every day I get the chance to go be happy because I'm doing the job that I love. I'm still trying to be the best I can be every single day. And, and the cool thing is that finish line is never going to come within reach because you can always get better at something.